think. We always just saw them as, as stories and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, obviously as, as Harry was, when he was younger, generally the theming of the stories were uh, well, for younger audiences, but I don't think that ruled out uh, older ones being interested. I think Harry Potter is one of the very few stories that's ever been appealing to nine-year-olds as well as 99-year-olds, so it's a, it's a very unique story in that front. Um, yeah, no, I've, I've enjoyed it. Let's keep the question train rolling on the floor. Right there. In November, there's the celebration of the Harry Potter films in Florida. Are you going to be there? I certainly hope so. Yeah, they just asked me the other day, and it would be fantastic to be there to celebrate the, uh, you know, the DVD coming out, and what better place to do it than uh, at the Wizarding World of, in, in Orlando. It's a very cool place. <laughs> Can I ask you really quickly about sure. something that maybe doesn't come up a lot in forums like this? Fishing! You like to fish. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there are some things you get asked when you're 12, 13, and they stick with you for the rest of your life. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> kind of. I haven't been fishing in about four or five years, to be honest with you. Um, oh, okay. But it's, it's still a passion of mine. It's some, all out outdoor pursuits are, are pursuits worth doing as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, Yes, it's something that I, there was a time where I wanted to actually give up acting and become a fishery manager. <laughs> but just to confirm, that's not what I'm looking to do. Yeah. We're glad. Uh, what's, hard, what, what's harder, fishing or Quidditch? Uh, it's got to be Quidditch, isn't it, really? <laughs> fishing can be quite docile. Quidditch, uh, sorry, yeah, Quidditch can be, uh, can be, can be hard work. Yeah. Have you ever seen an actual Quidditch match? Because they do happen at like They colleges. have, yeah. And I must, I must say that it's, it's a very bad representation. It's a lot harder to do it on the, uh, on the actual... <laughs> Sitting on a pole, essentially, for two or three hours at a time is not good, man. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I shan't go into detail, but yeah. Trust me. Back out on the floor. Oh, at the back in the middle. There. So what's the serious thing that uh, a fan has ever done? The, the, the what, sorry? I'm sorry. The serious thing. Most seriousness? Yeah. Scariest. 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 Sorry, I was like, is he making up a new word? Um, <laughs> We're Canadian, we do that. I like that. Why not? Why not? Um, scariest thing. I, I've, I don't know, I've had some people tattoo themselves with pictures and or my autograph, which is a little, uh, a little scary. I always feel so bad for them. Oh, their mum must, must hate me. That's what I think. Um, and, and, and there seems to be a never-ending list of... Uh, sexual innuendos with Harry Potter, I don't know. <laughs> Again, I'm not going to go into detail, but brooms, sticks, wands, you can figure it out. <laughs> right. uh, on the floor again? Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi, lovely. Uh, uh, <laughs> Michelle, what did you say to her to make her cry? <laughs> This is kind of a stupid question, but um, could you say Potter one last time like you did in the movies? Don't say one last time, that's yeah. very sad. <laughs> Just like a bit of a Potter, is that it? <laughs> Tell you how, that, that shook the room. That's cool, I shan't get bored of that anytime soon. <laughs> Well, let's talk the future really quickly. Uh, you're in a new Supernatural-style film called Apparition, if I'm not mistaken. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, that's right. It's kind of a, a horror meets thriller. Also, yeah, with Supernatural kind of um, revolving around this idea of uh, a scientist who's kind of very interested in, in the uh, yeah, Supernatural and this idea of connecting science with the supernatural and uh, yeah I shan't reveal all but but it, it, it kind of goes horribly wrong <laughs> well that would make a good horror film are you there a you villain go. again or are we gonna see you as a good guy I'm actually I'm, I'm, I'm a good guy kind of I'm well I'm not a villain I'm not a bad guy I, I play a kind of captain science dude who's um, who's the instigator of all the experiments so without him there wouldn't probably have never been the horror film so in, in his you know in ways he's negative I guess <laughs> are you gonna go see it yeah. Please do. Yeah. Check it out. All right, back to the floor. Hello. Hey. Um, I just have one big, because I'm a big Potter fan, obviously, and um, just one question. What would be probably the most memorable moment for you in the whole Potter thing? Yeah. Um, it, it really is. It's a, it's, a, it's a question that I'm afraid, even with the the, the years of, uh, of of thinking about it, I'm yet to come up with a good answer to. It's a bit like saying, "What's your favourite memory of your childhood?" I guess it's it's, it's kind of hard to pick one. Um, 
My answer is unfailingly always the people. The, the people that I've, I've been lucky enough to work with. Uh, again, not just the cast that you guys know and love, but there's, there's, there's hundreds of crew members that were there every day that, that kind of uh, raised me in many ways because I was there as, as, a, as a very young kid. So I feel very lucky to have um, not only had these guys around me, but also to have their friendship still. Thank you. You grow up on the films, yeah. you start off as kids, you, you, you come into your own, sure. but, but, and I mean, you're kids on the first films, but you got millions and millions of dollars riding on your shoulders with these films. So were the sets a fun place to be? Yeah, always. We were very blessed to have Chris yeah. Columbus um, early in. On He was the first director who took on the first two films, and he's kind of the ultimate guy with, with, with working with kids. Yeah. Um, yeah, we had Peter Mac doing the second unit, and it was, a, it was always a fun set. It was, they disguised it very well. The, the idea that it was a million dollar uh, film never, you know, never, ne never was apparent. It was always just us kind of having a laugh. So yeah, I was very grateful for that. Who played the most jokes on set out of all of you? Who was the biggest prankster? Whew. Uh, that's a tough one. There's, there were quite a few heavy ones. James and Ollie have got a reputation for it. Uh, the guy who plays the, 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 the Phelps, um, sorry, the Weasley twins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Phelps twins. Are um, Matthew Lewis was known. Daniel. Daniel was known for a uh, I remember one of the early days on set, he changed my phone's language into Turkish, I think. <laughs> as soon as it's changed into Turkish, you can't change it back. You, I don't know what language means in Turkish. So now you speak Turkish? Fluently. <laughs> got one right here close by. Hi, Tom. Don't test my Turkish. Please. <laughs> I won't do that to you. Um, I recently saw Planet of the Apes, and I was just wondering, because you say a line from one of the previous Planet of the Apes film, It's a Madhouse, It's a Madhouse, but I couldn't really hear over the shrieking of the apes, so I was wondering if you could say it again. <laughs> it's a Madhouse, or something like that. You know, actually, that was a line that we didn't do. Um, I never did that line. I was, that's, that's something that I did in post-production, in, in a, what we call ADR, which is additional dubbed recording, and I had no idea that that was such a, an infamous line until the director said it afterwards. He had a great habit of saying, forget the importance of this line and just say it how you would say it. And I just say, fine, uh, that's, that's easy. I don't even know what you're talking about. So it was, <laughs> it was good. And I was, uh, I was very honored to, to take on some of, these, uh, some of these infamous lines. I hope I, I, hope I did them justice. <laughs> oh, back on the floor. Something interesting happening here with the sign and everything. What's yeah. about to happen? Oh Thanks for the sign, girls. That's very oh, sweet. Uh, it says we heart Tom Felton for those who can't see. <laughs> We have matching shirts too. <laughs> I know, I'm loving the shirts, people. It's great. I Thank think you. Rupert Grint has started a, tr a trend off with I Love Tom Felton. Yeah. Well, I shan't.